What's up y'all? We're out here at John Dryling's mansion once again. Yesterday we rode behind a pretty small wake with a, with a tower on like a 1994 ski boat. And today we're gonna ride behind an even smaller wake. We're gonna delete the tower. And yeah, I think Dave is gonna do some stunts and also make That's fun right. of me in his video. So y'all should probably go check that out. And yeah, so we're just gonna wait for John cause he's slow. Have him come down here and we'll put the thing in the water. Airbub, what do you think of this boat? Too small for you? God dang, man. I never seen you wakeboard behind nothing besides the cable part. Well, best time for everything. Yeah, dude, how many horses you got in there? I think 285. Is that more than the Steiner Ranch? You tell me, bro. Maybe. Hey, we're about to take Dave to the rodeo. A 10 first hit? Easy, bro. All right, let's see it, dude. I think uh, your 10 was cleaner than Corey Tunison's. Yeah. Hey, bud, do you like Dave's riding? Yeah? Oh, yes. Oh. That was dope. Probably 19 to 20 miles per hour. How long is this? 55 feet. 55 feet. So basically the same rope length that like Nick Rapp was riding? Yeah, fully the same, minus probably, 20 feet. Probably actually the same amount of followers he has before he, he bought the other 108,000 of them. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready if you are. Shit.
about to smash this dub. Today is way smaller than yesterday. Yeah, like crap. Dude, just a little weight makes a huge difference. And we, we got should... none of it. Gosh, I, I, I'm very glad we got the miniature tantrum line out of the way. I couldn't grab it like yesterday. The wake on this one is a lot smaller than that old one, but we, we had like five people yesterday, so it makes sense. And yeah, I feel very unfit and that was extremely hard. And John's up because he's the king of mini wake. If y'all haven't checked out his mini wake edit, I'll probably put that below. Maybe check out Dave too on Instagram and in YouTube and John and all that stuff. All them shout outs. I should probably go to the gym. And I'm gonna go be a boat driver now. Yep, that's it. They would have just got a newer boat. It's fuel injected, has all those touch screens and all that good stuff. Like one of those newfangled uh, Centurion yeah, thing. Yeah, one of those ones. Yeah. Oh, that was one, yeah, we'd be running right now. Uh, good luck, it's gonna get tight real quick. Here we go, ready, knees bent, arms straight, go. Super slow, here we go. All right, do you reckon he's gonna get past the first trick this time? Yeah, maybe.
can fully see the rain coming in. Bro, he could probably seven this thing. Got a baby. Nice oh, job, dude. dude. You're a very Bro, you killed it so hard you got impregnated. See, you almost bailed, and now you're basically the world champion of mini wake world championships right hey, now. Hey, hey, hey. We're I gonna think... we're gonna have to have a contest to make this official. Well, right now in the contest in my brain, he just whooped your ass and you whooped my <laughs> ass and I whooped Dave's ass. Well, actually, Dave actually probably had some more steez than me, so if you put in style points, Dave might have whooped my ass. So I brought you everyone's ass in last place. All right, that's going to be it for today out here on Lake Holden riding the mini wake. Last minute, Gavin Stuckey showed up and he absolutely crushed it. He stuck a heel side, front side 720 off the double up, multiple back fives. John killed it too. He did switch and regular back five. I luckily got a tantrum to blind and Dave went out and did some of the sickest butters I've ever seen. So yeah, it was super epic out there behind this mini boat. If you guys haven't all checked out John, Gavin, or Dave on Instagram or their YouTubes or anything like that, I'll leave the link to all their social accounts in the description below. I know a lot of you guys don't have access to a mega wake like I do back home behind my Centurion boat, but it does show that you can have fun behind any boat, whether it's a ski boat, whether it has a tower, pontoon boat, jet ski, or anything and it has enough power to get you up on the water, you can definitely get out there on the water and have a good time. But if you or your parents or somebody that you know can afford a mega wake, it can definitely make your life a lot easier. It makes it way easier to send to the moon and just do tricks and stuff like that. So if you can't afford it, why not? I mean, the boats are awesome these days, so feel free to go check them out. If you guys like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up, comment below what kind of videos you guys wanna see in the future. And remember, I'll be uploading a wakeboarding video every second day forever. So make sure you guys subscribe. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.